Hi, I'm your host Caleb Lawrence and this is the Market Bull, October 30th, 2020. The major averages fell hard from the open, closing with large losses and finishing a bruising week that saw the Standard & Poor's 500 index down 171 points or 5%, while the Nasdaq lost 529 points or 4.6%, despite generally positive economic data. COVID-19 infection rates continue to increase rapidly. So far, death rates are holding steady, a testament to better treatment regimes. Personal income handily beat expectations in September, advancing 0.9%. While gains were broad-based, the rate of advance continues to slow with almost all income classes. The personal savings rate slipped again, but remains very high at 14.3%. Strong income gains helped drive personal spending higher, with a 1.2% advance in September, with services and goods both increasing. Like yesterday's GDP report, personal spending, which accounts for about 70% of total economic activity, has recovered most, but not all, of its COVID-19-induced losses, as spending remains down about 15% pre-crisis. The personal consumption expenditure, or PCE, deflator advanced 0.2% in September and 1.4% from a year ago, a figure well below the Fed's desired 2% target. The hyperinflation crowd has been howling from the rooftops now for over 10 years about the Fed's money printing leading to a currency crisis, hyperinflation, and worse. Credit busts are inherently deflationary, and Japan's experience since its bust in 1991 is very illuminating. Having printed yen like there's no tomorrow and buying up everything in sight, including significant percentages of its stock, bond, and ETF markets, the Japanese struggle with deflation to this day. And while their currency has remained largely stable, even being voted as the most stable global currency last year. The employment cost index advanced 5% in the third quarter. Gains were broad-based and fairly even, accepting state and local government wages, which trailed. On a year-ago basis, wages and benefits are up 2.5% and 2.3% respectively, slightly ahead of inflation. This series provides the most realistic picture of what's happening to compensation and wages as a result of the COVID-19 crisis, given that it controls for compositional changes in the workforce. With 26 on million unemployed, infection rates surging, and the economy still struggling, continued decent wage gains will prove a challenge going forward. The Standard & Poor's 500 index closed today at 3,269.96, down 40.15, while the Nasdaq finished the day at 10,911.59, down 274. Gold ended trading at $1,878.10 an ounce, up $10.10. This is Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor. If you would like to make an appointment, I can be reached directly at 831-334-5318 or through Microsoft Teams video conferencing at caleb at clinvestments.com. Advisory services are offered through Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor, Inc. You can also find me on social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And with that, you're up to date as we close the week.